Davis Bay, on the south coast of New South Wales, the site of the Royal Australian Naval College. Alongside the waters of the bay, young men who have decided to make a profession of naval service are taught the skills which naval officers need to keep Australia's fighting ships at sea. At this school, average Australian boys become trained administrators, engineers and leaders of men. Formal lessons are an important but not overruling part of naval college life. Tuition is given by civilian school teachers and naval instructor officers. Lessons range from pure science and mathematics to navigation and meteorology, while increasing emphasis is being given to the humanities. Jarvis Bay became the site of the Royal Australian Naval College in 1915. Later, the college transferred to Flinders Naval Depot, but in 1958 it returned to Jarvis Bay. Today's naval officer requires the same courage, integrity and dedication as his predecessors. But today, increasing demands are being made on his academic and technical competence. Interruptions to formal classes can be appreciated by both teacher and pupil. A sea air rescue boat used when aircraft are flying from the naval air station nearby at Nara is in need of repair. Its engines must be replaced and a class of potential naval engineers leaves the classroom to watch. This is a unique way to learn on a sunny wharf left by a smooth blue sea. The young men are being trained for a life at sea and when the guided missile destroyer escort HMAS Derwent exercising off the coast finds time to enter Jarvis Bay, she signals an invitation to the college for a party of cadets to come aboard. After their graduation from the college as midshipmen, every officer will spend a year at sea in ships of the Australian fleet. Already they will have become specialists in either the seamen or engineering branches of the Navy. After they have been to sea, their studies will become even more specialised. Some will train as navigators, others as communicators or gunnery officers. Some might choose electrical or mechanical engineering. Others might prefer the Navy's supply branch. Many will obtain university degrees. In their final year at the college, the cadets go to sea for between two and three months, getting their first taste of real Navy life. Until then, these short one-day cruises in operational ships are an occasional pleasure for a sea-loving youth. At the college, meals begin with ceremony. What you have about to receive, thank God. Amen. The Navy wants its officers to have a complete education. While social graces are not part of the curriculum, the wives of college officers give dancing lessons before the graduation ball each year. Physical training at the college is compulsory. There is a systematic program of physical education designed to develop physique and promote mental alertness.
As well as group physical training, most team sports and games are played at the college. Daily sport is compulsory, and cadets must play not only the games in which they excel, but also those which in later life they might be required to organize and control. Annual competitions with the cadets of the officer colleges of the other services provide an added incentive for cadets to train and practice. Cadets are encouraged to arrange their own recreation. There is a swimming pool, a nine-hole golf course, a gliding club, and many hobby, drama, debating, and similar clubs. Sailing is not only a popular pastime, but an essential part of the young naval officer's training. In small boats like these, they learn the ways of the sea and its waves and winds. Each year, an ocean racing yacht from the college takes part in open races. Usually, the college enters for the Sydney Hobart race, giving senior cadets the opportunity to work in the crew alongside more experienced officers. All in step, uniform in dress and movement. Yet no two of these young men are alike. No two careers will be exactly the same. Some will command many different types of ships. Others will direct the operation of highly complex equipment or be responsible for maintaining ships of the fleet. Their lives will be spiced with challenge, excitement, travel and adventure. They have their first taste of this life at the Royal Australian Naval College.